This playthrough is rated E for everyone. Time to see if we can win the dead man's hand. Greetings and salutations, viewers. While we're back here with another episode of C the Curse of Monkey Island. In the last episode, got the Welshman ready to go. Helped us to this uh, little island here. And now we're trying to get a big old diamond to help uh, cure the whole situation with Elaine. So, yeah, we got our engagement band. And we got some other things. We got a whole lot of money from the insurance. And, uh, and well, I think we're good to go. The only thing we need to do now is just talk to this uh, Andre fellow. Seems he's got all the gold. He's got all the info. Keep that door closed. Sorry, uh, I just wanted to make sure Mr. Threepwood made it down all right. Oh, Wally or whatever he was. The guy who almost dropped me. Actually, technically, I got dropped multiple times. So, huh. We'll get to him eventually, but. What are you looking at? Uh, nothing, sir. What you looking at, Yos? I think that would be a very bad idea. Very, very bad. He's not much of a talker. Huh. Not exactly the kind of guy I expected to find living in a cave surrounded by heaping mounds of treasure. You expect the typical pirate formula? Hat, beard, and all that? Yeah, it seems kind of plain looking for being a king. Why is he a king? He ain't got crud all over him. I think he could take me. I think anyone could take you, Guybrush. I'm going to lunch if anybody needs me. Shut that door, there's a draft. Apparently Andre is from Jamaica, <laughs> with that accent. Oops, I must have the wrong cave. Later. Now we have to do this, so. I have got so much money, it's almost embarrassing. Well, hello. Let's talk, Mr. Uh... uh I'm trying to remember the, the name of this voice actor for King Andre. Uh, it's like, I'll have to look it up really quick. I think his name's like John Wolf or someone like that. He's done voice acting for a really long time. I've heard him like in a ton. Of, I think that's the same guy who does Lee's voice in uh in the... Uh, Walking Dead. Well, I'll have to double check it eventually, not off the top of my head. But anyway, uh, I remember first hearing him like here in like King's Quest VI and stuff like that. But uh, anyway, let's look at our names Tito, just Tito, Threepwood, Guybrush, Threepwood, LeChuck, Zombie Pirate, LeChuck, Good Soup, Wonton, Good Soup. Actually, is our, I thought our name was Steak and Potatoes, Good Soup or whatever. Logie, Lugie, Captain Lugie. What is that a reference to uh, the second game or whatever? And, uh, Van Gogh Fassington. Jethro Van Gogh Fassington. Very well, Mr. Threepwood. Hey, how did you know my... It is my business to know who enters and leaves Skull Island. I am King Andre, and this is my associate, Gruff. Were you looking for something in particular? The Good Soup Family Diamond. LeChuck stole it, you bought it, I want it. Now. <sighs> Please? Sir? But we have so much quality merchandise here at the Pirates Club. Our prices get lower every day. Everything a pirate, or pirate in trading, could possibly want is here, for the right price. <laughs> uh, that sounds pretty ominous, doesn't it? Uh, hmm. <laughs> You're a very whole diamond issue. You're such an odd person. I don't get it. Could you not laugh like that anymore? The Good Soup Diamond is the centerpiece of my collection. The fantastic energy flowing through it is the key to all my power. So, can I have it? Of course you can't have it. Unless you were to give me something in return. Oh, well, I mean, I assume he wants like a lot of money because we've got a lot of money. So, is that is that going to work? I hope it's going to work, but... <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I'll look around. Maybe we can make a deal. The Diamond Belongs to the Museum. Nice Indiana Jones reference. You're a madman. I'm trying to remember what that's a reference to. The evil plan will never work. Andre and the James Bond quote. Do you expect me to talk? No, Mr. Threepwood. I expect you to buy. Oh, okay. Just, just, just as that, huh? All right. Your evil plan will never work, Andre. But it is flawless. A carefully placed series of charges laid throughout Blood Island, all controlled by a network of satellites in geosynchronous orbit. And only one man has access to the master switch. Oh, boss. I am that man, Threepwood, and... Boss? Yes, Mr. Croft. Ixnay on the evil land play? Ah, yes, of course. Okay, so anyway, the guy playing Andre is uh, Dave Fenoy. Yeah, he's been doing this for like ever. <laughs> I swear he's uh, 
He's had so many just random voice acting gigs over the year. It's crazy. Uh, but yeah. You're a madman. Am I mad? Am I? <laughs> Is it madness to sit in a cave at the top of a deserted island, accumulating vast amounts of gold and jewels and stuffed animals, stockpiling plunder from across the Caribbean and passing the savings on to you? Is that madness or genius? Good point. I take it back. I'm not crazy. My prices are. Uh, are you okay, dude? That diamond belongs in a museum. So do post-impressionist paintings, Mr. Threepwood. So do post-impressionist paintings. What the heck is that supposed to mean? One day, you will understand. What? Maybe I'll just take a look around. Okay. Let's just finish talking to him, so. How about toys? Do you have any toys? As a matter of fact, a new shipment just arrived yesterday. They're sure to be bestsellers. Here, take one. You're the best shipmate ever. Set sail for fun. You're my favorite sailor. I'll cut out your tongue and make you eat it in a sandwich. <laughs> but yeah, that's a... Uh... I'm still looking, thanks. That's uh, Zavi LeChuck. That's his version from it. I think they even used the similar animation from Monkey Island 2 when he waddles after you. Uh, during, when he chases after you on Big Whoop. He's so cute. Aren't you the cutest little thing? Ahoy there, matey. My name's LeChucky. Arg, math be hard. Let's go shopping. I'll grind your bones to make me toothpaste. <laughs> uh, love it. Whatever he's getting more lines. Land ho, sailor. Let's build a sand castle. Let's bury some treasure. I'll hang ye from me yard arm with your own entrails. Yeah, he's optional, by the way. You don't need to get this doll at all, but why wouldn't you? Will you play with me? I want to be your friend. Let's build a sand castle. I'll tear off your head and spit bile down your throat. Seems like such a nice guy to the end. He must have, like, gradual anger syndrome or some of that. But yeah, a lot of the references are to Child's Play with Chucky. <laughs> Does anyone know a good Thai restaurant in the area? Don't open that door. You'll blow out the candles. <laughs> huh. Anyway. Let's bury some treasure. Okay, I think he's repeating now. My name's the Chucky. Yeah, I think it's like a set of four different... Uh, I want to be your friend. Four different lines that he kind of randomizes, I think. I'll be haunting ye into the hereafter. Well, that's different. So it must be, we must have gotten all the normal lines, but the final line, which is usually different, him insulting you is always going to be. Ahoy there, matey. I don't actually remember how many lines he has. You're the best shipmate ever. Set sail for fun. I'll keelhaul your mother. <laughs> if you ever want like a nice LeChuck or a LeChuck that tries to be nice, uh, if you play Tales from Monkey Island, you, they, they get the voice actor to kind of try to pretend to be nice. Will you play with me? I have a mix. I have mixed feelings on that series. To tell you You're too. my favorite sailor. Arg, math be hard. Let's go shopping. Just you wait till you fall asleep, little boy. God, it's so creepy. <laughs> like having a little doll-like thing say something like that. It's scary. Land ho, sailor. Let's see how many more insults he's got. I want to be your friend. Like everyone else. Will you play with me? I'll rip out your lungs, you swab. Alright, he's got. A, I think that's it for insults, but let's try one more time. 
Land ho, sailor. Set sail for fun. Ahoy there, matey. You see your doom before ye. <laughs> yeah, I didn't realize the game was so many lines. No, that would be pointless. No, that would be point. Stop opening that door! Oh, uh, sorry. I, I was just looking for the time cards. I guess you have to log in for this job or something like that, huh? You're the best shipmate ever. I wonder how many lines Wally has, too. I don't know. My name's the Chucky. Arg, math be hard. Let's go shopping. I'll chop you to bits and feed you to the sharks. All right, this guy, that's got to be the end of it. Let's build a sand castle. You're my favorite sailor. Let's bury some treasure. I'll infect you with scurvy and rot your teeth to blackened stumps. I gotta love all his insults. Maybe I should use that, some of them one day. You're the best shipmate ever. Always three, three good, one bad. Ahoy there, matey. Unless you're into that stuff, then maybe then it's all good. Land ho, sailor. Or three bad and one good, I don't know. I'll tear off your head and spit bile down your throat. Okay, we've heard all of his lines now. All right, let's get what we're actually here for. I couldn't help noticing those adorable smuggle bunnies. Ah, the smuggle bunnies. One of our most popular items. Each one comes with a cleverly hidden pouch just above this small intestine. Great, I'll take one. None of them contains the diamond. Oh, never mind. I think, I'm trying to remember what that, that might be a reference to like the rescuers or, uh, or something like that. I'm trying to think of another movie that has a diamond in it. I think it's the rescuers. I think that's what it's referencing. Man, that's obscure. I mean, I like that movie, but not a lot of people talk about it. Most people remember the sequel, Down Under, which is good, too. But the uh, first one has a certain charm to it. I'd like to buy something really piratey. Of course. Really piratey things are, of course, our specialty. Can I interest you in a peg leg? Well, that depends on what you do with it. That was a joke. Ah, uh, yes. I don't quite follow you, but I'm sure it was amusing. Yeah, sure, sure. I really had my heart set on that diamond. As you wish. You are a formidable opponent, Mr. Threepwood, but it looks as if our game of cat and mouse must cease. It is a perfect diamond, one of the largest I've ever seen. I'll take it. And so it comes with a very large price. Eh, enough with the hard sell. How much? It will cost you an awful lot of money. Do you have that much? Well, I have a lot of money. <laughs> Not enough. My partner is right. We can't give it to you for anything less than an awful lot of money. But perhaps we can make a deal. My partner and I are very fond of cards. Uh, poker in particular. How about a little wager? If you can defeat us at poker, you win the diamond. Sounds fair. Yes, fair. <laughs> Could you stop laughing like that? It's very unnerving. So, Mr. Threepwood, the question is to you. Care to join us in a game of cards? Would you like to play a game? No way. I'm terrible at poker. <laughs> but now we have to play. I just wanted to hear him say the line. Okay, I'll play you for the diamond. You will have to pay to enter the game. Well, how much do I need? Not very much. Sure, I can handle that. This is a lot of money. I better only give them part of it. Have you ever played poker before, Mr. Threepwood? No. Would you believe this is my very first time? <laughs> then I'll give you a brief explanation. The game is the simplest variety of five-card stud. I deal five cards to each of us. We show our cards to each other, and the player with the best hand wins. Well, how do I know what makes the best hand? If you have any questions, just ask us. You do trust us, don't you? Yeah, sure, as far as I throw you. <laughs> As far as I can... Yeah, okay, I forgot he actually has that line there. Not tr trust you, not a chance you feel the liar. Trust you both are the lowest scum in society. Don't know the meaning of trust you, thief. Of course I trust you. Very well. Let us begin. Good cards. Daddy needs to lift a pirate curse. 
Take a moment to look at your cards. Okay, so yeah, let's look at our our hand. Is uh, let's see, we got the diamond there. Wow, it's huge, and not a curse on it. An uncursed diamond. It was it enormous diamond. Now, now, Mr. Threepwood, that would be stealing. <laughs> Please stop laughing like that. Nah. Yeah, talk to the diamond, huh? Hmm. I think he could take me. I've got a really terrible hand. Apparently, good fortune is not in the cards for you. <laughs> I thought we agreed you weren't going to laugh like that anymore. I have a full house. Aces over kings. You lose. Would you care to try again? Now, the, you have to, by the way you win, is you actually have to use those five death cards. Hey, what was the name of that story about those guys who tried to blow up that bridge? Go away! You're going to blow out the candles! <laughs> Surprised those uh, candles last as long as they did. The way you're supposed to do is you're supposed to use those five death cards. But uh, there's some interesting, like, dialogue and extra stuff if you keep playing, despite the fact that I'm not going to win. You can never win, because they always have better cards than you. You bet! I'm going to win that diamond. Put up your side of the wager, Mr. Threepwood. Very well. Let us begin. Good cards. Daddy needs to lift a pirate curse. Take a moment to look at your cards. Okay, so the way you look at your cards is you look in your uh, um, inventory is how it works. Two of spades, three of hearts. Hey, wait a second. This is the exact same hand as I had last time. How's that even possible? Ah. That's an interesting turn of luck, Mr. Threepwood. <laughs> hmm. No matter how I arrange them, they're still terrible. Nah. He's not much of a talker. I think that would be a very bad... Hmm. Nothing again. I have a royal flush. It seems as if you've lost again. Maybe your luck will improve. Would you care to try again? You know, how hard, you know what the odds are of actually getting a royal flush is? You bet. I'm going to win that diamond. Put up your side of the wager, Mr. Threepwood. Very well. Let us begin. Good cards. Daddy needs to lift the pirate curse. Take a moment to look at your cards. All right. These aren't even real playing cards. What game is this? <laughs> nah. No matter how I arrange them, they're still terrible. Yeah, just random cards. Yeah, let's see. It looks like I've got an orc horde with 30 hit points and the great goddess Loman Gorak of the 30 Veils. I get the sword of Azazel and Queen Mesopotapa, Mistress of Darkness. What game is this, anyway? Poker, Mr. Threepwood, and I win with a high street. Don't give up just yet. Perhaps you should try again. I assume that's a reference to Magic the Gathering, but it could be any card game that has, like, fantasy elements to it. You bet! I'm gonna win that diamond. Come on, sevens! Alright, what do we got now? Oh, shoot. I got aces and eights. That's bad. Yeah, whoops. I can't use this terrible hand with that. Leaving so soon, Mr. Threepwood. I was just stretching my legs. I want to keep playing. Leaving so soon, Mr. Threepwood. I didn't mean to do that. I was just stretching my legs. I want to keep playing. Any sixes? Go fish. As a matter of fact, I have four sixes. I win again. Would you care to try again? You bet. I'm going to win that diamond. I feel like they're cheating. I don't know. It's just weird. Come on, sevens. Oh, okay. It's almost like, well, not every time, but sometimes it has something completely different. Hey, neat. The Curse of Monkey Island collectible trading card game. I got a Wally. I know what a, oh, I mean, I know what a Wally is, but yeah. Okay, I've got a Wally, 
uh, Kenny, and a pair of lemon heads. I got a LeChuck and a Elaine. Three of a kind. I win. Perhaps you should try again. I feel like I feel like him, him and us are uh, are actually playing a different game, and he just says the poker game, and we're like, okay, he wins for some reason. You bet, I'm gonna win that diamond. See, it should only be like something more. Come lines. on, sevens. We might have hit it already, so. Oops. Another lousy hand. I think these guys might be cheating. Maybe. I don't know. I'm feeling. I got a whole bunch of nothing. Oh, how unfortunate. Would you care to try again? I think that's the line of, of we're down here with the, the silliness. You bet. I'm going to win that diamond. Good cards. Daddy needs to lift the pirate curse. Let's see what his reaction is. And if it's the same, then we know we've hit the, the limit. Another lousy hand. I think these guys might be cheap. Okay, we're going to use our tarot card now. So somehow this will work. I don't know how. It'll just work. I've got five death cards. That can't be good. This will work. This will be good for this game at least. Fortune telling won't work with that. Five of a kind. Right there. Not even you guys can beat five of a kind. <sighs> You're correct, Mr. Threepwood. We cannot beat five of a kind. The question remains, however, whether or not you can beat a pair. A pair? A pair of murderous smugglers. Huh? Us, Mr. Threepwood. I am talking about us. We're gonna kill you. Oh, I get it. <laughs> whether or not you can beat a pair, that's pretty clever. Now, now, gentlemen, let's not be too hasty. There's a delivery man out here with a package. You idiots! You blew out the lights! I got the diamond. Not for long, you little... Bolt! Hit him, not me, you cretin! Who are you calling a fool? There he goes! Get him! Got what I needed from the smugglers. Good. Let us leave this place of evil. There's just one thing I need to do first. Really? What's that? Who's there? Oh, it's just you. Wait! Wait, what are you doing? Help! Help! Ah! Good luck on the rest of your adventures, Guybrush. What? You can't mean... I'm afraid so. This work is too dangerous for me. I'm going to find a more stable, secure line of work. I hear there's still an opening for a chef on Scab Island. Well, you'll be sorely missed. I know, but my destiny lies out there, somewhere. Beyond the rolling waves. Farewell, good friend Welshman. Oh, wait. Where'd you say Scab Island was again? East by northeast. You can't miss it. Oh, thanks a bunch. Whoops, I forgot to tell him that a magnetized pin will only have compass-like properties for a short time. Ah, well, he'll be fine, right? But, yep, we got the, we got the diamond. By the way, the whole uh, tossing that guy out of the uh, of the cliffs, which is almost ridiculously gruesome for, for Guybrush in any term of capacity. Usually he's not that aggressive. Uh, if you never fall, if you use the umbrella immediately the first time that happens, then he doesn't do anything to him. It's only if you fail to do it the first time does he actually throw him off the cliff, which is pretty funny. But we got the diamond ring. Wow, it's huge, and not a curse on it. Can we use this just anywhere? Okay, I thought so. Let's bury some treasure. Okay, I think we're, we've already heard all the variations. So, uh, okay, but anyway. Nah, what a rock. But anyway, with this diamond, we can, we can take on the world or put together a uh, engagement ring to swap out for the cursed one from earlier, so. It's a massive diamond engagement ring. Oh boy. It's a massive diamond engagement ring. I'm going to guard this ring with my life. Uh, yeah, otherwise we won't be able to solve the puzzle. Nah. And we still got plenty of money for the insurance, so, yeah. All right, yeah, that's how you win that game. So, uh, what was it? Uh, Lef I think LeFoot was the name of the guy we knocked over. He had to think for a second what his, what his name is. All right, so final thing we need to do is we now need to get the ring off Elaine's hand. However... It's stuck to her finger, so we need to find a way to get the uh, 
cheese off it. Oh dear. Yeah, it was like, well, Chuck's on the on knows where we are, so we've only got one more thing to do, and hopefully it's enough to do it. But we need to get that ring off Elaine's of finger. So how do we do that, though? Well, the only thing we can do is we need that hand lotion stuff, which uh, Haggis has. And the only thing that comes close to that we might have, that might do it, is the cheese. But we need to heat it up. And as you see, we don't really have a good opportunity to heat it up. The only other place to do that would have been here at the barbecue. But as you can see, it's pretty much... Well, not that much going on here because the volcano has erupted. It wouldn't be available till then. So, we need to set up the volcano. Remember how Lemonhead earlier said uh, the volcano couldn't handle um, gas and uh, like certain foods because it it's upsets the stomach? So, let's go back to the uh, volcano. Hey! Get out of here! You'll spoil the ceremony. Yeah, you have to you have to wear the uh, uh, headpiece if you want to uh, uh, go up there. So for some reason, he doesn't automatically put it on though. Oh right, I have to use it. Dick. Hey guys, how's it going? It's the leader of the cannibals. Nice day for a sacrifice. Only one a day. Sherman is sensitive to overfeeding. And apparently it's been all the same day. I don't want to throw him into the volcano. Nah, that one, he didn't do anything to, uh, worthy of it. I'm determined to use this to propose to Elaine. Again. Uh, except legitimately this time. No, that would be... Never pointless. No pirate would just give money away. Not unless you're a philanthropist, a pirate or whatever, so... Well, I can't use the book with... I don't think he'd like... I don't think he'd like... I was just saying, if there's any other random... I don't think he'd like... I don't think he'd okay, like... wait, wait. We need to use the uh, cheese on the uh, on the, the cauldron. You fool! You've given cheese to a lactose intolerant volcano god! Do you know what that means? You brought about the coming of the divine dysentery! Run for your lives! Wow, that was more spectacular than I'd hoped. Nice animation. But yeah, the reason there is so we can actually have a fire for the purposes of... I'm not going back up there. It's too dangerous. Well, the cannibals are probably not too happy with what I did, so. All right, let's go back to the hotel. Now that everything's ready to go, we can, uh, uh, we can uh, heat up that cheese to get our precious, uh, precious, uh, because we were supposed to find something that would work for tar is what we're trying to get. And that the reason we know that is from the description on the, uh, the nacho cheese right here on the maker. It tells us the how strong it is. I'm sure it's never been cleaned. And how, uh, as you can see with the fork. That fork is stuck in all that congealed cheese. Yeah, that's supposed to tell you what to do, so. Or at least give you a clue what, what uh, is necessary, so. All right, yeah, look at, look at that. The lava has really heated up the barbecue. I don't think so. I'd probably burn my hand pretty badly if I touch it now. Licking the barbecue is not my idea of a good time. 
uh, losing their tongue would probably be the same it's thing. It's a big, heavy-looking cast-iron cooking pot. I'm not going to carry around that heavy iron pot for no reason. We all need more iron in our diet, but not like this. Yeah. All right, let's use the uh, cooking pot with the cheese. That melted cheese looks just like yellow tar. Aha, uh -huh. yeah. Uh, <laughs> so, uh... Come to think of it, I don't want any fresh nacho cheese. Nah, uh, not the mood right now. I guess I'll just drag this down to Haggis now. Here, Haggis. This stuff should work to patch up the ship. Aye, laddie, indeed it should. The consistency of tar, but with a tangy pepper taste. So, can I have your lotion now? Aye, lad. Go ahead and take it. All right, now we can, we can take it off their hands. I'm determined to use this to... No, that would be... I don't think he'd like that. Okay, all right. It's Haggis's melted nacho cheese. It was enough work getting it here. Yeah, I'm surprised you did. I still don't want to eat it. Yeah. Well, I like nacho cheese to an extent, but... It's Haggis. Mm, no. He's busy repairing the ship now. Okay. It's Haggis. Well, say goodbye to Haggis and the crew. Well, we won't see him again, so that's it for this. So. It's a bottle of soothing hand lotion. Don't eat the lotion. <laughs> Don't eat the no, lotion. I, I've got something else. Stop looking at the dang thing. It says, made with 100% pure lamb blubber. Mmm, soothing and nutritious. Lamb blubber. No. Not whale blubber, lamb blubber. Tastes like chicken. Sounds about right. All right, now we just need to get a, um, uh, uh, we just need to get the ring off of her finger at this point, so. All right, let's, uh, let's do it. Actually, let's take a look at it really quick. Uh, it's that accursed, cursed ring. That ring is really stuck on her finger. Yeah, that's how you were supposed to know to get it off, but... Licking her finger won't loosen the ring enough. Ew. Who knows who, where she's been? There's something big, shiny, and cursed keeping me from putting on this ring. <laughs> There's something big... No, that would be... Don't you think that's just a tad drastic? <laughs> I don't think she'd like that. No, I'm not getting hit with that. I can't use the magnet with that. Yeah, I was trying to remember if there was anything else you could... Don't you think that's just... I don't think she'd no. like... <laughs> if only it were that easy. Yeah. Oh, well. Eh... I can't use a bull. I think that, yeah, I might be it on that. I can't use the mallet with that. Don't you think that's just a... That doesn't need to be augured. Uh, I think, yeah, I think we're good on that. I was just saying there's any last minute little things we could do with it, so... Let's see if this slippery, greasy lotion does the trick. That should do it. First ring exploded. Wow. Well, not much we can do. And we don't need it anyway, but I'm glad it's there. It's Elaine's finger, ready for a new ring. It's Elaine's finger, ready yeah. for a new no. Just see if there's anything else there. So, all right. Well, it looks like uh, looks like everything's ready to go for Elaine to be freed from this whole cursed in, uh, d situation. I wonder how she's gonna feel after she uh, after she gets her. Uh, 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 body back and everything like that and where's lechuck in all this we'll find out next time in part five of, of uh, the curse of monkey island thanks for watching hope you enjoyed and i'll see you next time <laughs> elaine are you all right guy brush when where are we you're okay we're on Blood Island. LeChuck's ring had a terrible curse on it, but I put everything right. You're safe and everything's gonna be fine. Just fine. <laughs>